Coach Papuchas here, so we will get rolling in just a second. We already have questions, so we'll get going. Hey, John, my question has to do with Jermaine Johnson. After seeing him in tour of duty and now having five practices with him, what stands out about the young man, about what he brings to the position? Uh, you know, I, I've been really impressed with Jermaine to this point. Um, he's fit in well. Um, I think you know, he's taken a leadership role, which is kind of a, uh, a hard thing to do, I think, in, in a lot of transfer cases. But uh, he's a hard worker. The guys see it. Um, he wants to be out in front. Um, you know, he's athletically, he's gifted, um, you know, and that, that was easy to see pretty quick. But what I've been more impressed of, of by is his abilities in the meeting room and, you know, the way he's, he's really taken ownership of taking a leadership role with one of the older guys on the team. Next would be Irish Rebell. Hey, Coach. Um, Coach Norvell singled out uh, uh, McClendon today uh, for the way, I guess, his practice. With a guy like that, is it just about finding the consistency? Because it seems like there's we've seen flashes. Um, is that the next big step for him, or what does he need to, to do to to take that next step in his career? No, I think I think that's that's exactly what it is. I mean, consistency for him has been one of the things that that he and I have, have had a lot of discussion about. Just because he does show flashes, um, but the more reps he gets, and I think the more situations he's put in. The, the better he's played. So um, kind of being in that more of a, a predominant role with the first or second group this spring uh, has allowed him to get a lot of work. And each day I see him getting better. He's a kid that works hard, um, that has a great attitude, um, that's tough, that, that has physicality to his game. And I think he'll get nothing but better just because of his drive and want to. And, and that, that's what obviously we're all looking you know, for, for guys to be able to do. I was going to switch to special teams. It looked like you guys were working a lot of different guys at, at punt returner. How wide open is that competition? Um, and is that uh, something that will go on through the fall? Uh, it's an open competition. You know, I mean, we had a lot of guys obviously rotate through last year. That's not really the way we wanted it to be. Um, I do like what Travis brings to the table. Um, but like every position on our, our uh, team, whether it's special teams, offense, defense, there's going to be competition and um, we're going to let guys compete all the way through. But I do like uh, some of the guys who were, were here a year ago. And then um, I think, you know, with, with uh, some of the, the guys that are new to the program, there's going to be even more competition there. We, we've had a hard – it's hard – where we are, it's kind of hard to see what's going on with the field goals during that period. Um, right. How have, how have the, the kickers done in, so far in, in terms of live action field goals? Uh, pretty well. You know, I think they've both had good days and, and not as, as good days. Um, overall, the competition's pretty even. Um, their charting numbers are a lot higher than their, their team numbers are right now. Um, you know, but some of that's a product of, you know, getting used to – you know, new holders and live action. And uh, so there's a lot of moving pieces that are going on, but they're both hitting the ball pretty solid. Switching back to DNs, Quayshon Fuller is another guy. How has he done? I know a couple of those guys are a little banged up, but anybody else you can talk about in that group, just share your thoughts on them if you would. Yeah. And so, you know, really it's, it's uh, the guys who have taken the majority of the reps so far are Jermaine Johnson. Um, Quayshon, uh, Derek, and uh, Josh Griffiths. Uh, Quayshon, you know, he's, he's made significant progress, I think, over the course of the offseason into this season, just in his big picture understanding of what we're trying to get done, and then his technique within uh, each individual call. Um, you know, he's a guy that, that was young a year ago. He's still young now, um, but last year being his real first year of playing time, uh, so this is a critical spring. Him, him and Derek not having a spring going into their redshirt freshman year hurt both of their development. Um, so, so this is a critical spring for Quayshon. It's a critical spring for Derek. It's a critical spring for Josh Griffiths. 
because all three of those guys were freshmen or redshirt freshmen that were playing a year ago, really without ever having an opportunity to go through a spring ball. And, uh, you know, that's where you learn a lot of the fundamentals and techniques that will carry over into fall camp and then into the season. Thank you. Thank you, guys.